John Dickerson is with us now from Washington. He is, of course, also our CBS News political director. So, John, Congressman Schiff told you that Congressman Devin Nunes's actions last week underlined the need for an independent commission on Russian election meddling. Help us make sense of where this investigation has moved since Director Comey testified on Monday. Well, it's a good question. It's a moving picture. And so what you've essentially got is that uh, the chairman of the committee has said that uh, he has some evidence and is waiting for uh, sort of the corroborating evidence, which uh, should be forthcoming perhaps as early as next week, that in surveillance that was done, some Trump uh, officials or members of the Trump campaign were caught up in other kinds of surveillance. And what usually happens in those instances is those incidental collections are what's called minimized or masked. And the people who are caught on the, in that surveillance, you don't really hear about it. Even, the, even in the secret uh, annals of Washington, they don't pass around that information. He says he has evidence to show that those names were unmasked and that it was sent around. Now, that in and of itself is, it can be done, but there's a formal process. And his contention is that the formal process either A, was not followed, or the process was followed, but none of the normal rules applied. And this was all for the purpose, he alleges, of discrediting and harming and otherwise uh, undermining the Trump presidency. So that's the assertion he has made. And uh, Congressman Schiff, the ranking member, uh, the ranking Democrat on the committee, is highly skeptical, in part because he hasn't seen what the chairman has seen. And they are supposed to get uh, more information. You, you basically have to fill out a form to unmask people. Those forms are gettable. And so we should have an answer to this at some point in the next couple of weeks. All right. We'll be watching for that. Well, let's move on to health care. Republican Senator Tom Cotton told you that his party should have taken a more, quote, careful and deliberate approach to its health care overhaul. What are the lessons for President Trump from this week? Well, it's interesting. There are lessons perhaps uh, just on health care and, and, and so should have had a slower process uh, in the House. There is obviously a counter argument to that, which is um, they got a lot to do. They thought they could do health care relatively easily. The group that caused some, some issues that they had hoped, uh, Paul Ryan and his team had hoped President Trump would be more effective with them. Uh, although, as we discussed on the broadcast, it was not just the House Freedom Cau uh, Caucus. There were lots of uh, others who had a more pragmatic view about health care, uh, and, and they were pushing back as well. So, um, but so one of the lessons is uh, to change the way in which he and Paul Ryan work together. Uh, but it's unclear whether this can really be uh, fixed without a major change, because um, they, they have kind of different uh, approaches, and there is this tension at the center of the Republican uh, conference, which is that you have conservatives who believe one thing and then other members who do not believe enough. And if they can't come to an agreement, they're not going to get the votes. Well, President Trump, through his aides, said that he wanted to move on to other legislation if the health care overhaul uh, couldn't pass last week. Does the failure of this particular measure mean anything for the prospects of other items on his agenda? Well, if it damages the relationship between Speaker Paul Ryan and the president or makes them distrustful or um, makes their staffs distrust distrustful of one another, then any future legislation they work on, which will be just as complicated and have people who are just as ideologically committed to their positions and therefore difficult to cajole, um, it will be, you know, just as, as difficult to work out. Uh, one possible lesson here may be that Donald Trump needs to get to work earlier and in as robust a way as he uh, has on other issues that he cares a great deal about. Uh, and so maybe more more effort by the president. But the challenge for any president is the more you extend a president in and engage them in the process, uh, the more that is, that is on the line for that president. Uh, so that's one of the reasons that sometimes you only bring the president in at the very end. Um, but it's um, getting that balance right will be just as hard on future big items like tax reform as it was on health care reform. All right. John Dickerson in Washington for us. John, thanks very much. Thanks, Elaine.